And this is the perfect way to start a Tuesday, don't you think? We're talking about pets. I'm petting one right now, and that's because, you know, pets, they add so much to our life. Endless joy, friendship, the reduction of stress, which we could all benefit from. A furry friend just might be the companion that you've been looking for. And lucky for you, we have an adoptable pet looking for their forever home. And so we're joined right now by Katie. And then I happen to be petting Gretchen from the Idaho Humane Society. Gretchen is such a sweetheart. Let's turn your little face this way, baby. <laughs> Gretchen actually, in my opinion, looks like she could be in the cartoon Bluey <laughs> with her sweet little face. My kids love Bluey. And uh, Gretchen, though, what kind of dog is Gretchen? Because she looks like a mix. Well, we think she is a mix, a terrier mix, maybe some schnauzer in there. A little schnauzer, yeah. such a sweetheart, though. She is. This so dog is so kind. She is really sweet. She's an older girl. She's yes. about 13 years old. Okay. So She's on the senior end of things. <clears throat> um, she was adopted previously, uh -huh. <clears throat> excuse me, and re returned recently because her owner passed away. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah. All right. So she's looking for her forever home. Hi, baby. So she's looking for her next little opportunity to maybe snuggle with somebody yes. and just be that companion that, oh, look at those big eyes. We've got to get these big eyes on camera. You got you to work the camera here, girl. Show everybody those sweet little face. Now, when it comes to a senior <laughs> dog, and as mentioned, you know, she's mm -hmm. 13, so she might be more interested in just exactly what I'm doing right now, right? Yeah. She's somebody who might want to just <clears throat> cuddle up with you, enjoy a nice little snuggle, maybe still has a little pep in her step, likes to go for maybe some walks, yeah. but nothing too overexerting, yeah. right? Yeah, she's still pretty spunky. She does like to go for little walks and then snuggle after. Snuggle after, <laughs> that sounds perfect yes. to me. Okay, and then um, tell us too a little bit more about the shelter really quick, because in addition to dogs, you also have cats, you have other animals that are up for adoption. Yes. Oh yes, we have rabbits and birds and, and rodents and oh, gosh, all sorts of animals. Yes, yeah. if, if you want a pet, come to the Humane Society That's right. because you should be able to find whatever it is that you're looking Absolutely. for. Absolutely. All right, and then really quick, any advice for adopting a senior pet? You know, <clears throat> they might need some special food or special medications. Um, they just really need love. Yes, a lot of love. And is Gretchen also friendly with other dogs? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what about cats? That I don't know. Okay, yeah. all right, that's yet to be seen, <laughs> yes. but definitely additional dog friendly. Right. Okay, and then um, we do want to though mention a really important topic, and this is important to you. Let's talk about the importance of the fact that we're heading into summer. Yes, it is really warming up outside, and a lot of people like to take their animals with them in their cars, but yes. it's just not a great idea. Yeah. Even if it's only 75 out in your car, it can quickly get to 95 and over 100, and you can effectively be baking your animal. So yeah. leave them at home with a kiddie pool or a sprinkler. Yes, <laughs> and especially if it's a senior dog, too. Yes, for right? sure. Because, They're very sensitive. Yes, very, very sensitive to yeah. the heat, just something to keep in mind. So if you do adopt Gretchen and you like to go out for morning strolls before the heat really cranks up uh, what a great companion to have with yes. you yes. or maybe later in the night or as the sun's beginning to go down I know the sun stays up a bit longer here in Idaho as we head towards those longer summer hours um, and it might take a little bit longer for it to get cool but we still have beautiful evenings and the breeze might pick up and what a great chance to just get out there and enjoy the beautiful weather with this beautiful dog Gretchen such a sweetie pie and for those who may not be able to open their home to a pet right now but they do want to get involved with the Idaho Humane Society, they can volunteer, mm -hmm. they can donate. Where do they go for more information? Go to IdahoHumaneSociety.org. It has a wealth of information. It's a great place Wonderful. to start. Okay, great. Well, Gretchen, you have been, and she really knows her name. Look yes. at that. I said Gretchen, and she looked right at me. <laughs> uh, can she sit? Does she heal? She walk well on a leash? She walks well on a leash. I don't know that she knows any of those other things, but it might just okay. be that she's distracted by the cameras, too. Could, yeah, yeah, could very well. Well, I'll tell you what, she's incredibly behaved. Uh, just hanging out, enjoying in the rug she knows exactly how to uh, just just kick back and relax yes such a sweetie all right come take home Gretchen she needs <laughs> you as well okay thank you so much greatly appreciate thank you. it as mentioned everyone make sure you go to the website to get more information stick around because coming up after the break young adults have consistently been in the lowest range for voter turnout but a local nonprofit is driving home the importance of voting we'll learn more about that coming up in our community corner right after the break